Hi everyone, it's Cameron back at you. The Grim Stitch Factory, GrimStitchFactory.com, Grim Stitch Factory on the Facebook. I'm here today in your living room on your smartphones, laptops, to show you a new mask that I've just finished. It's not really a new mask, but the design is something you don't often see. So here's the mask, it's the Hatchet Scarecrow. And if you're familiar with the mask work on my website, you are probably familiar with this bad boy. So this mask is what I call the helmet version, you know, like a motorcycle helmet or head-only version. It, it doesn't have the neck and the chest piece. And I'm showing you this today to give you, you know, to demonstrate it, just to show you some of the advantages of it, because it's a very unique piece, extremely functional and very popular, even though I don't feature them a lot on my website, but this one will be. I'm going to upload some pictures later on. So I guess the easiest way to show you is to put on an outfit, and then we can demonstrate it. Uh, here's my, put this one on. This is my uh, Grim Show, Mr. Grim. <laughs> Scarecrow outfit. So we put him on and as you can see I got a turtleneck on because you know in the in the October it gets a little chilly out in the old cornfield in the barns. So we like to put a, a little turtleneck on and that's actually functional because you can wrap burlap around it. Then we take the mask, pop him on, boom, flip the collar up, we're done. So as you can uh, hear, uh, you can hear me quite fine as I talk to you now through the mask so you know discussion talk dialogue rrr, no problem and with the helmet only version you can see ease of mobility up and down so there's a lot of ways to turn your head without any type of restraint and it probably looks really ridiculous that I'm talking while doing this <laughs> so there you have it I'll turn uh, profile for you And with a lot of my masks, I've got mesh over the eyes as well as the twine. Now, a lot of questions I get asked is, um, can you uh, see through this mesh and through this twine? To which I respond, absolutely. How many fingers am I holding up? Five, well, <laughs> four and one thumb. Um, and you could take anything and, for example, here's a little receipt from a store I bought and it says that uh, it's been approved and the merchant number is M4939002 and that's pretty small. So yeah, you can see through the mesh and the twine quite easily. Okay. And with all my uh, Grim Stitch Factory masks, they're 100% organic burlap. There's no silicone, there's no latex to get you hot and heated, so it's all burlap. There's also a wired jaw in here, 16 gauge wire, so you can narrow the jaw by pinching it in to adjust to your own face design. Inside it's very comfortable with sponges, and it's very lightweight, and it breathes extremely well. So this is a popular design that I've made for several people. It was also popularized in uh, the Wicked One film. So there's a, a second gen mask of this. And again, pop it on. You throw on the scarecrow costume, you got a collar, you could wrap some burlap or whatever you want around that, and you got a whole costume. Because once you're running through a corn maze at night, you're jumping out of corn, you're jumping out of your haunt, whether it's indoors or outdoors, and you've got this helmet mask on with a full costume, I can tell you right now that there's not a customer on the planet that's going to notice whether you've got a chest or neck piece on that mask. They're going to be shitting their pants. <laughs> they're not going to be looking, hey, is that a neck piece on that? They're not going to notice that. So there are a lot of advantages you want to consider from the perspective of the client or the person who's at your haunt. Okay? as well as your own comfort, mobility. So if you do a lot of action work, if you're gonna be wearing one of my masks, you're gonna be outdoors and you're gonna be with a weapon, waving around, chasing, uh, you may wanna consider this, okay? This helmet version of any mask. I can make them for the field creeper. Uh, almost all of the masks I can do it in. Anyway, uh, I'm shipping this one off today. So I just thought I'd make a video of him for you and to let you see it. Anyway, thanks very much for tuning in. This is Cameron at the Grim Stitch Factory, GrimStitchFactory.com, Grim Stitch Factory on Facebook. Thank you very much for your patronage. Thank you for watching, and thank you for your interest in my work. It's a pleasure to do it for you. If you do want to order, by all means, just drop me a line at info, I-N-F-O, at GrimStitchFactory.com. Or you can phone me. My phone number is on the website, and I can get an order for you. Springtime now is the best time to order, as I am busy but not too busy. When summer rolls around, it gets a little chaotic. Okay? Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you real soon.